So guys, my name is Mitch. I'm going to talk about breast cancer and uh, I'm here to inform you about breast cancer and how breast cancer in today's civilization is a problem of Oh wait. Well, breast cancer in today's civilization is a problem because it's a life-threatening disease for the middle-aged woman. Okay, just imagine a nightmare scenario for many people is having their doctor go over to them and say, muttering the words, you have cancer. This, is, this has become frightening reality for many women today after receiving a mammogram or being told that they have a tumor in their breast. In fact, According to the health organization, breast cancer is the second most prevalent type of cancer in the world and it is responsible for about 500,000 deaths yearly. While there is a large effort to create awareness of the disease, many women don't find out until it's too late. So it's pretty crazy, you guys. You guys gotta go get checked. It happens in women, men, and stuff. Since it is October and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I, I thought it would be kind of cool to talk about it. I'm just going to go over why it's an important issue. First, I'm going to talk, talk about the symptoms of breast cancer. Then I'm going to go over potential causes. And finally, I'm going to tell you how it is treated. <coughs> to begin with, I'm going to present to you a quick background on symptoms of breast cancer. Signs and symptoms of breast cancer. The most prevalent and easy, easily found symptoms of breast cancer are lumps in the breast area. According to Harvard Women's Health Watch, lumps found in the lymph nodes located in the armpit can also indicate breast cancer. Indication of breast cancer other than lumps may include changes in size and shape. Another sign of breast cancer is spontaneous nipple discharge. It might sound nasty, but it is. Mayo Clinic states nipple discharge refers to any fluid that seeps out of the nipple in, the, in a non lactating woman. The consistency of nipple discharge varies from thick and sticky to thin and watery. There are other forms that you can find out about breast cancer. These are just three main ones that I chose. Now that you know something about the symptoms of breast cancer, I'm going to speak to you about the cause of breast cancer. To begin with, the cause of all cancers is tumor. Breast cancer happens when there's a tumor in the breast. According to clinical and experimental immunology, a tumor is a group of cancer cells that grows uncontrollably and is capable of spreading and affecting other parts of the body. Scientists are not sure of the exact cause of tumors, with, with them speculating that it could be radiation, chemicals in our food, or malfunctions in cells, nucleus. For a tumor to cause cancer, it has to be malignant. There are other types of tumors that, that do not cause, there are other types of tumors that, that do not cause cancer, but they could potentially be malignant. Breast cancer is classified as a tumor that is interlining the milk ducts of the breast. There are many different classifications of breast cancer. Aggressiveness and size and shape of the tumor are qualified, all qualified differently. Now I'm going to talk to you about how breast cancer is treated. One option is one option of treatment is by surgery, and this could be done different matters, but there are two main procedures. According to the article in Women's Day, 20 things you don't know about breast cancer, a lumpectomy is used when it is possible to only remove the tumor from the surrounding tissue. So basically just removing the lung. That's, that's all it takes for that. Sometimes when you just can't remove the lumpectomy or the lump on the breast, you have to take the whole breast out. Okay. 
there's other forms of uh, treatment such as radiation. Radiation, a little light right there. Radiation therapy uses x-rays and gamma rays on the site where the tumor was located before it was removed to lessen the chance of reoccurring. This eliminates the microscopic cancer cells that may still be there when the tumor was located. The next one is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy involves using chemicals that are toxic to cells to get rid of the tumors. Aside from killing the tumor cells, chemo also affects the cells which makes it harmful to, to, other, to the patient. Chemo has to be applied on strict regimen to be effective. The last one, not least, is immunotherapy. Basically, it was brought that the body, it was brought that the body's immune system was ineffective at fighting cancer. However, it is now known that the immune system is capable of fighting cancer. Basically, what immunotherapy does, it optimizes the body's natural immune defenses to target and kill cancer cells to improve survivability and destroy cancer cells. So, So now that I've talked to you about causes of breast cancer, what breast cancer is, and the treatments of breast cancer, you all have an understanding of how it works, how it can be deadly, and who's going to get checked, and everybody mammograms and stuff. So hopefully after listening to a serious danger of this disease, it comes clear to you all that breast cancer does kill. Thanks.